Hey, it's Amber Shaw. Um, sorry it's so late. I am your guys' um, night owl, I guess, of the group. <laughs> um, so today, tonight, I want to talk to you guys about the um, second and kind of most important part of branding yourself. Um, well, it's not the second, it's day two. <laughs> um, but I would say it's the most important part about branding yourself. It's why you brand yourself. Um, and that's to build a loyal following. So how do you build a following? Um, you build a brand online and you build a loyal following by adding value to other people's lives. Whoa. <laughs> so you need to bring something to the table for other people um, before you can expect to get anything in return. So how are we going to do that? Um, first of all, you need to be, oh my gosh, my phone is about to die. Hold on. I'm going to try to plug it in. Ooh. All right. We'll try to do this plugged in. Sorry. Okay. Um, so, hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Um, so, first of all, you have to be credible. Um, what's your mission behind your brand, okay? What is, what is your goal behind what you're doing? And it's not to be a millionaire. It's not to be a black status presenter. It's like, what are you doing for other people? Okay. Are you trying to make other people feel good? Are you trying to, um, you know, raise women's confidence? Are you trying to teach moms how to apply makeup in five minutes or less? Like think of something that you want to do that you can do that isn't self serving. Um, this is going to help build your credibility with people. Um, and then the big thing to remember there is you don't have to be the expert on whatever it is that you're trying to do, but you have to be honest about where you're at with that. So I, I do a ton of videos um, and I do tutorial videos, but I'm never ever saying like I am a makeup artist or I'm the expert in makeup. I always say there's no rules in makeup. This is what I do. Oh gosh. I hope my dogs don't start going crazy. <laughs> um, so don't try to be something that you're not. Be authentic. Okay. I said this a bunch yesterday and I'm going to keep saying it again. Be authentic. When you are authentic, you're going to build credibility just in itself. Lola, stop. Um, so number two, and you guys might even want to grab a pen and pencil and write this stuff down or rewatch it. I don't know. Um, is be consistent. Now, be consistent in your posting, in your content. Um, make sure you're, you know, doing your posts on a consistent basis. Um, bringing new content, new things to your followers, your friends on Facebook, the people who pay attention to what you're doing. You need to give them stuff to pay attention to. Um, if you're just regurgitating people's posts, and I mean straight up copy and pasting, same graphics, same everything, people aren't going to pay attention. If you take like five minutes, if you see something online, okay, say one of our uplines or whoever gives, you know, an example of a post. Post this. Ugh, you guys, don't just verbatim copy and paste exactly what they say <laughs> because guess what? Our friends are friends with multiple presenters and I feel like it looks so tacky to just see like 12 people all in five minutes posting the exact same thing. It's like, hello, <laughs> you aren't a real person then. You're just <laughs> vomiting out a 
picture and the same words that like 12 other presenters are putting out at the same time. So you need to be consistent in your voice, in your tone, in your punctuation. Um, you want to use those same, you know, I feel when you look at my posts, I try to write them how I talk. And sometimes that's hard because you listen to me talk. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm sort of silly, but I try to keep that tone uh, in my posts. So I don't, I'm not going to make these serious posts, this and this and this and da 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 Like, no, I'm going to try to keep it sounding like it's me talking. If you are copying, pasting your black status presenter's posts all the time, guess who you sound like? You sound like your black status presenter or you sound like whoever they got it from. And I'm saying here, take the things that your upline, your sponsor, all these people tell you, but filter it through your own voice um, or take your own picture. So maybe instead of, you know, exactly verbatim copying the words and the post to someone else's, you say, okay, this is a good idea. And then sit back and think about it for a minute and then put your own spin on it. I do that all the time. I don't, I'm not the most creative person in the world by any means. So I take a lot of what, um, you know, Kelsey's my sponsor. I'll take a lot of what she has to say for sure. But I try to filter it out so that it's not like I'm just Kelsey 2.0 just doing exactly what she's doing. You know, you have to have your own voice and you have to be consistent in that. Um, another thing when you're building your brand um, consistency-wise and I heard this from um, Haley Ragsdale at the Seattle Empower You event that I went to in March, I think. Um, and then as I've been researching branding and everything, um, keep hearing it. And that is be consistent with your profile pictures um, across your platform. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, try to keep your... Um, if you're gonna do like a logo or something um, this was kind of a cool tip and I I have one it's just a really simple it's my um, name and then our team hashtag and I just got those um, it's a website called fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r.com everything costs five dollars so you can get a really simple logo that's just your name and then I use that as like a watermark on my um, pictures and stuff um, and it cost me five dollars. So that's one way to keep your brand consistent. Um, keep your name. So if you have um, your name on Instagram or whatever, you want to keep it consistent with your branding on Facebook. I would say use your name unless you have some fancy other name. Like my my website is just my name. So I am Amber C Shaw on Instagram, on Twitter, my email, my website. Um, all of it is the same. So if you have a brand, um, and I, I can't even think of like something cool off the top of my head, but, um, <laughs> say your muscles and mascara, that's your brand. So you want to be muscles and mascara. You want to have your web, your email address be muscles and mascara. You want to have your website be muscles and mascara. Don't make people think too much because if they have to think, it's not going to be good for you. <laughs> um, take that out of the equation. Okay, so being consistent, I said be consistent in your voice, your tone, your punctuation, all that stuff. Guess what that comes down to again? Be authentic. <laughs> be you. Um, your authentic self isn't just regurgitating information that someone else gave you um, without even processing it through your brain at all. Um, then, oh, I can't read my notes here. Okay, yeah, be consistent in your online presence. And then how to do that. So number three is be relevant. So this is kind of a weird one. And I struggle with it sometimes. I'm like, oh, what do I talk about? Um, what am I, you know, what am I going to post about today? How do I make this picture seem, you know, how do I make this selfie seem different than yesterday's selfie? 
you know, it gets kind of to be a lot. At least I feel some days you're like, I don't know. I'm not feeling creative today. Um, maybe I want to wear my makeup the same way as I did yesterday. So how do I make this into um, something that's relevant and different from yesterday? Um, so one thing that I do is I search like beauty blogs. I'll search, you know, makeup trends of spring 2016 or something. Just Google it and see what pops up and you'll see lots of things like, um, you know, bronze faces, bold lips, like whatever. You'll see a million different things. Pick some of them. Be like, okay, today's look is on trend. There was like a pink lip one. Um, you know, I took one that I took a picture that was of a model and I am no model, <laughs> but she had like blue eyeliner, eyeliner on and like coral lips. So I put that picture up next to my picture and I clearly don't look like her, but you get the idea like, oh, okay, she's doing something relevant. This is like something on trend. Um, and you guys, I'm not saying that I am the professional of this. This is just what I do and what I, what I think about and kind of where this comes in my, to play in my brain. So, um, just FYI. <laughs> um... Another really great way to uh, be relevant in your content is to ask your Facebook friends, your followers, what they're interested in seeing. What better way to be relevant than to just ask people what they want to see? And people love, um, they love to tell you, oh, I want to see this, I want to do that. Uh, one thing that I do is I'll put a poll up in my uh, VIP group and just ask like which demos they want to see and then they vote and then I can do that demo and it also helps me out because then I don't have to think like you know oh what do I do I, I I'm gonna be real here with you I feel sometimes like you know what I'm saying I'm like oh is this getting stale is this whatever um but when you're asking other people what, what you what they want to see and then you're doing it it takes the pressure off you a little bit, so that's nice. Um, yeah, recreate looks, follow the trends. Um, so you want to be credible, be consistent, and be relevant. And then the hugest thing to remember, I think, is um, you need to add value to other people's lives before you expect anything in return. So. Um, do those makeup tutorials or, you know, that's what I do. So that's what's coming to my brain right now is, you know, just doing makeup demos. They're so simple and people tell me all the time that they love the way that I do this and that that's such a huge compliment to me. Um, I just had a girl, a presenter sign up with me who was straight up referred to me from someone that I went to high school with. So... I went to high school with a ton of other unique presenters and she was like, I really like the way that you do this and my friend wants to sign up. So even though I have like 20 presenters on my page, I'm coming to you. That was a huge compliment. Um, you know, so try to keep all this stuff in your mind. And then I had a question for you because I want to um, take my own advice here and uh, practice what I preach. For tomorrow's video, what do you guys want to know about as far as branding? Um, so that's your homework tonight is to watch this video. If you're to this point, you've probably already watched the video. <laughs> um, and tell me what you guys want to see as far as information on branding yourself. And then I will talk about that tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a lovely evening. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow, hopefully with some relevant content that you guys come up with. <laughs> Have a good night.